Alright, what's up folks, it's me Barky, and I've got Spidey Camp's Dog Pack mod here, which is a mod that adds in a whole lot of dogs to your game. So basically, how this used to work is that there used to be a whole lot of separate mods that would have the breed by itself. But now the dog pack has been released and it has all the breeds in it, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. So I love mods like this. I absolutely love them. Even though this is a relatively small mod, it is incredibly detailed about like how nice the animals look. Like take a look at the art style on the animals. I'm zoomed in a lot here, so it'll show off the imperfections. But uh, if you're standing at about the default zoom, these dogs look absolutely amazing. They really look like they fit the RimWorld style. So that's how the mod used to work. There used to be a whole lot of different ones. There still are, I believe. But yeah. So anyways, this mod adds in a whole lot of dogs to the wild part of the world. Although you can spawn them in if you want to. And they're all slightly different. But, you know, they give you the same stats as about a normal dog. So I'm going to go ahead and tame all of these quickly. So we can take a look at them. I will go through their stats because I am interested in them. I probably will be using this mod for my playthroughs. Alright, cool. So I tamed all of these dogs. Welcome to the colony. So we can take a look at the Border Collie that we have over here. Then we have the Bull Mastiff over there. Let me get rid of this writing so we can actually take a look at what they look like. So then we have the Caucasian Shepherd over here. We have the Chow Chow over here. This dog looks ridiculous in real life. Uh, the Normal Collie, Male Collie over here. And then we have a Doberman. Incredibly scary dog in real life. Golden Retriever cute dog man look at this it looks amazing actually all right now we're checking out dog butt sorry about that but yeah just it looks fantastic uh then we have the saint bernard and then we have the miniature schnauzer i think that's how you say that schnauzer anyways we can take a look at their stats and stuff like that generally the dogs in the game are going to be compared to the default one which is the lab let's put them in here and you can see the default one compared to the modern one modded ones whoops anyways let's take a look at their stats it's always interesting so as for intelligence uh we can show you this tab over here advanced intelligence or we can take a look at what they can actually be trained in but i'm just gonna go here so first up we have the border collie it's an incredibly smart dog my cousin has one of these and they're incredibly incredibly smart uh 2.39 dps which is interesting body size are 1.1 so it's quite a big dog and then trainable intelligence is at advanced, which is interesting. So next up we have the Bull Mastiff. Same speed as the Border Collie. Border Collie. Body size is 1.5. So I think this is absolutely massive for a dog. So I'm not sure if the mod maker knows how big 1.5 is. But I'm pretty sure this is 1.5 times a human size. Like a default humans. Yeah. That is a massive dog. Alright. <laughs> massive dog. Trainable intelligence set to advanced, which is good. Yeah, and then uh, DPS is at 5.81, so it's an incredibly strong dog. Incredibly powerful. So next up, we have the Caucasian Shepherd. Uh, same speed as the default one in this mod. DPS set to 7.23. Wow. This is a crazy dog. You don't want to get in the fight with one of these. And then body size at 1.5. Damn. 7.23 dps it's crazy all right so next up we have the chow chow uh default speed that's fine body size is at 1.1 okay this dog is absolutely massive for a chow chow this is something of my worst in my worst dreams uh melee dps 5.20 and then trainable intelligence is at advanced then we have the normal collie 5.20 speed Body size at 1.1 and in DPS at 3.09. So it's less than the Chow Chow. Interesting. Alright, then we have the Doberman. Doberman's default speed compared to the rest of the dogs. Uh, body size at 1.1 and in melee DPS at 5.78. So this is probably just along the line of the normal dog in this mod. Maybe a bit stronger. Then we have the Golden Retriever. Body size at 1.1. Uh, we have its DPS at 3.14, which is pretty low um, compared to the rest of the dogs in here. And then its trainable intelligence is set to advanced. Then we have the Saint Bernard, default speed. Um, the body size 1.5, so it's a massive dog. Absolutely massive. And I mean, they are really, really big in real life too, if you've ever seen one. 
and then melee DPS is at 4.3, Tra uh, trainable intelligence set to advanced, it's interesting. And then we have the miniature schnauzer, little tiny dog. Body size is 0 0.5, default speed, uh, melee DPS at 2.2, and trainable intelligence set to advanced. Alright, so those are the dogs and their stats. If we compare that to a normal Labrador Retriever, um, you'll get a better look at the bigger picture. So, movement speed set to 5 CS. Um, body size of 1.0, so it's the default size. And then, trainable intelligence advanced, melee DPS 2.88. It's very interesting. So we cannot train this dog to rescue. Uh, let's take a look. Do any of the other ones have something like this? I wonder. All right, so we can't train the uh, Schnauzer to rescue because it's too small to actually carry a human body, which is interesting. But the, interesting. But the rest of them are all pretty malleable and actually valuable additions to the colony. They're all incredibly strong. I mean, look at the DPS on this dog. It's 2.88. If you grab a Caucasian Shepherd set to 7.23, they will, this dog will get mauled. In fact, I kind of want to test it out. This might be a little cruel. Um, I don't think it is, though, because it's a video game. All right. Caucasian Shepherd. Anything wrong with you guys? Nope. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Does this work on animals? They will murder each other, right? No, okay. Alright, let's see how it goes. Man, the dodge. Alright, well. <laughs> Jesus. Dude. Man, I feel. Okay, okay. Another one. Is this guy still berserked? Alright. Mental state. Absolutely brutal. This dog is so strong. Alright, let's heal it up and compare it to a wog. I wonder. Because the warg does less DPS than it does. <laughs> oh wait, this is not attacking back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, there you have it. The warg's down. This guy's still standing. Damn, now I kind of want to test some more, see how strong this thing is. That is ridiculous. Alright, let's see how this goes. That was a lucky dodge that this dog just pulled off. Lucky two, three dodges in a row. Four dodges in a row. What? Four dodges in a row. He missed? Okay, well that's two wargs down. Uh, I could probably get this. It's less DPS than a Thrumbo does. But I think it's... No. Okay. Let's try this out. Look at that. Oh, I mean, if he gets a lucky shot on this... What? 60? 60 HP? Jeepers. I mean, I don't think he's going to win this fight, because if you compare their durability, the Thrumbo should outlast him completely. There we go, yeah. But man, look at that, one animal did this to Thrumbo. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, if you care about balance, then I think you're going to be in for a little shock, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, let's just get rid of these dogs, bleeding dogs on the floor. Um, yeah, because a lot of these dogs are just incredibly strong, like, unreasonably strong. I think all their DPSs should be halved, roughly, and maybe their body sizes should be smaller as well. Um, but yeah, that is the mod. Tell me what you think. I think it's an incredibly cool mod, even though the dogs are strong. I might just go edit it myself to make them weaker before I use it. But yeah, it's incredibly cool, and yeah, 
nothing really much else to say. Go give them one make us some love. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.